Tonight's forecast is sponsored by Ashbrook Audiology, where relationships matter. Happy Wednesday to you, everybody. I hope you are doing well. And of course, we have seen some cool temperatures today and uh, we're struggling to even get in the 60s this afternoon. But you know what, though? We, you know, sometimes those weather patterns has a functioning mind of its own. And, you know, like I've been telling people in the past before, you know, I'm just in promotion, not production. So obviously what happens, happens is the way let's put that as that as well. As you know, the big talk of the week has been the severe weather threat and really not much has changed except now that slight risk has extended further up to the Northeast now, uh, approaching as far of our friends up in Pennsylvania and even now the central eastern part of North Carolina where they could possibly see some more severe weather there. Again, we're right on that fringe line of that severe weather risk has now shifted uh, now into parts of Henry County. Again, our friends in Franklin County and Patrick County in the western part of the area will remain just a marginal, ret, uh, marginal threat of severe weather. And the only difference from the southern part of the U.S., right there along the Panhandle of Florida, that is now shifted further off to the east now. Of course, today, parts of Louisiana, Mississippi have been uh, under the gun for some severe weather, and we'll let you know about that during our Thursday newscast. Let you know if they saw any severe weather down there. Again, the uh, folks down at the TV stations have been updating people all day long down along the mid deep south keeping people informed and things of that nature as well. So other than that, a nice uh, or a enjoy the rest of today. We'll begin to see the cloud cover increase as well. Something else I want to quickly note about is our precipitation chances. As you know, it has been fairly dry, but it's also been wet at the same time. This is going out uh, for the first couple of weeks in April. As you see here, uh, the uh, Prediction Center also put out a very wet stretch of weather ahead of us. Now, keep in mind, it's not going to rain every single day, but again, it does appear that we're going to be in a wet pattern as we do mark our uh, start to April. And again, our folks out west are going to remain very dry. So other than that, that is the national outlook. Let's get back locally home here as our temperatures are going to start to get back very uh, warm. So with the trend of tonight, how this is going to work, our temperatures are going to actually go warming, warming in the opposite direction. Instead of cooling down at night, we're going to kind of remain cool and warm, and then we'll cool down a little bit, and then we'll warm back up again uh, as our cloud cover is going to be increasing once more. So other than that, our temperatures are going to be very warm through the overnight with this cloud cover increasing. Again, our winds will be also um, on the uptick too as, our uh, as, we gonna, as we're going to begin to see uh, that severe weather threat move across much of our area once again. So for tomorrow, uh, it's a weather alert day, letting you know that we are going to see the potential for some severe weather. We've got a caution our icon. We put change the red alert, let you know that there is a chance that we're going to see some storms that are going to fire up. The way this is going to work, first thing tomorrow morning as you're getting your day started, we're going to be seeing some morning showers. I don't foresee this being in a heavy rain event for the first part of this event as we'll have a second wave moving in the afternoon. You are going to begin to wind, notice the wind. It is going to be breezy and possibly if we get under these heavier thunderstorms, we could see our early thunderstorms arrive as early as about nine to 10 o'clock in the morning. So as you're probably at work and now the kids are at school and stuff, you're gonna probably begin to notice that, hey, we may hear some thunderstorms approaching by between nine and about midday during that time frame as well. During those thunderstorms, they could produce a lot of heavy rain. So the only issue we're watching with this one is that there's some possible flood threat uh, in the forecast, as well as the spin up tornadoes. So uh, we can't even, like I said, the chance is not high, but it's not zero either. So just keep that in mind. Yes, we're gonna have warm air already here because as this front is coming through, it's gonna be interacting with uh, several thousand feet up aloft in the atmosphere. That is gonna trigger those heavy uh, chances of thunderstorms and those high winds also interfering with it too. So just keep that in mind. We're gonna have a busy day. We'll get a break between early midday and then again, another round of storms to be moving through right before the rush hour on your Thursday night. So just keep that in mind as you're having to come home from work tomorrow. We are most likely gonna see some storms and some passing showers as the cold front's gonna be exiting our area by that time frame. 
And again, the potential for some more enhanced severe weather can't be, uh, it's not totally zero either, but again, the chance of it is pretty high. We'll see the main concern is gonna be some flash flooding if you get under those heavy rain showers and those significant, um, you know, these storm cells that produce on the cold front can be damaging at times, letting you know that the winds and then the heavy rain is going to be possible as you make your way out and about. So this is not going to be like one of these fronts where it's going to get cold in a hurry, but it's going to be cooler as we make our way towards Friday and we'll begin to sort of clear things out uh, for the upcoming weekend. So just keep that in mind as our temperatures are going to be warm enough uh, for any severe weather activity. And as you do see here, our highs for tomorrow everywhere, once again, as you uh, as I just stated to you there, our uh, main concern for any of these storms tomorrow is going to be that flash flooding. Again, a few spin up tornadoes can't be rolled out either. Uh, again, I can't guarantee you we're going to see a tornado on the ground, but the potential is there. Just keep that in mind. Very warm air in place. Again, the flood threat's also a concern as you do get under these thunderstorms, as they will produce a lot of heavy, a lot of rain in a short amount of time. And uh, once again, those winds, 25, maybe have guessed up to 30 in some parts of the area, that will most likely take place as the front's moving through. And just to give you an idea where that slight risk of severe weather is, it's kind of like right here in the middle of it. Uh, again, our folks sound the southeastern corridor of Franklin County are also included in that, but folks west of uh, the uh, 220 uh, intersection and going out towards Patrick County and Meadows of Dan, you're on that general risk of some thunderstorms uh, out there too. So everybody has the potential for seeing heavy rain and a significant uh, rain event with this. So uh, we'll talk about the drought monitor coming up on your Thursday. Once again, the Prediction Center is showcasing that we're gonna be in a wet pattern. And of course, it is April showers for a reason, right? As we're getting close to that, and of course, March winds has been the theme for this entire last couple of weeks. So uh, we've been seeing the high winds. Now, as we're going into April, we're gonna to begin to see April showers. And of course, that, do bring, that does bring those May flowers. So a active day as we head towards tomorrow. Once again, tomorrow morning, we'll see some scattered showers. By about 9, 10, 11, we'll begin to see that ramping up activity as our temperatures are already going to be warming up through the morning hours. That'll again enhance that chance of more of uh, heavier thunderstorms again and out of those thunderstorms will possibly be some uh, high winds gusting that and then we'll get a break and then again the rest of the storm system itself will begin to push through our area right around three, four, five o'clock and hopefully by later in the evening hours things just start to diminish as this uh, storm system is moving through once again it's already prompted a number of tornado warnings in southern uh, Louisiana uh, parts of Alabama and Mississippi and Georgia again as you remember a week ago a similar setup of the storms occurred and they actually did see a tornado touchdown as you remember I showcased that photo from that uh, new station down in New, uh, new, new Orleans they uh, had it live on their uh, action webcam which was pretty impressive uh, to see the least so just prepared for a active day tomorrow and of course if you do have trash day just keep in mind you want to make sure that uh, your trash is kind of bunkered down also bring any outdoor uh, furniture down take down the patio furniture the umbrella and any of your uh, plants if you have them outside on those uh, potted plants you want to make sure they're not going to get blown across the yard and uh, you know keep those intact while you have that Again, not a freezing concern as we head towards the upcoming weekend, but it's going to get cooler, kind of getting back to where we need to be for this time of year. So it's been a very transitional last two weeks with severe weather. We are now in a time frame where we got to keep a close eye on that between now and through much of the summer. So do stick around here with us. Hope you have a wonderful and again, get prepared for those chances of severe weather. Let me begin for our Thursday. Luis will be back after a quick commercial break. Your BTW 21 weather forecast is sponsored by Zentmeyer Chiropractic. 